Hi, I'm Vince Kate. This is me on a seastead. Living in Anguilla, and I've liked seasteading since before the word was even coined. It's part of the reason I moved down to Anguilla, actually. And this last year, we actually built a seastead. Big enough for three guys to ride on. Here it is. We had a kite that could pull it. Um, there's our beams are 20 foot long each. The barrels are 55 gallon barrels. Here's the kite pulling us out in the ocean. We went for a ride, not very far, but had a lot of fun. It's the structure is quite stable. The, the barrels can move without tipping the structure, and so it uh, and it's diagonally. It's about 30 feet. So it doesn't tip much with the waves, really. Uh, you can see a beach back in the distance. That's where we started from. And that reef is what gave us a little bit of trouble. We couldn't get as far to the side of the wind as I had hoped. Um, the structure, the, the platform that we're standing on was just tied on. Oh, you can see the ropes and the bottom underneath the water. They go all the way around the four corners. That platform is just kind of hanging there, so it wasn't as stable as you want. There's the ropes again. Um, the barrels, because they can move independently and without moving the structure, a wave can push them, but not, not really tip the structure. And I like that idea. They're kind of like little spars, the small waterline area. Um, that you could take this and go further with a you know, skinnier and longer barrel. And you could also have something that would dampen the motion. Uh, there's things that they use in harbors to keep boats from tipping up and down. It, it goes easily one way and it doesn't go easily the other way. So I got a new idea. Uh, I want to make some small little bungalow, just a little thing that two people could stay in for a week out in the water in a sort of protected area. Um, but it would be floating. This is Anguilla. Uh, this is the view from my house. We're looking about five miles out, but that spot's actually two miles from the shore. And there's deep water inside that reef, but the waves are only going to be a couple feet. But there's good snorkeling, and it would be a great place, I think, to have a, a little house seastead. So I got a new idea. It's uh, tensegrity on the legs, but the structure is an integral part of the design, or the platform is integral to the whole structure. So I didn't need the old seastead stuff anymore. I made a garden fence out of it and used the barrels as big planters. Uh, there's my little boy rolling one of the planters, or barrels. He's just drilled some holes in the bottom. <laughs> so the new one, this is basically it's a 112 scale model. These are four foot beams and the real one would be like 40 feet. folds up nicely so I can put it in the back of the car, which is important for me because I want to take them to the ocean and test them in real waves and see how they do. Uh, so here it is in the ocean. I have several things that we learned from this. The ropes to the buoys should have been longer so that the structure was a little lower in the water and the buoys could move more independently from the structure. The, the diagonal support ropes should have been a stronger thing. They're actually stretching a little bit. Uh, I should have had more weight on there. That's only two pounds. It should have been like six pounds. The the buoys should all be halfway down in the water, and they're not that far. And there really should be a rope around the base of all three of those dowels, so there's a big triangle underwater, and that would make it more stable as well. So it works as it is, but I can see a number of things to make it work much better. This is slowed down. Uh, see. The waves are sort of like six inches, which is like six feet on the real scale. Here's a larger one with 40 foot beams. So there's a person standing there. We want something that's not too big so that we can afford to build it in the next few years, um, but big enough that somebody could pay to rent it for a week. So just a little, it's sort of like a cabin in the woods, but it's a cabin on the ocean. Um, and the idea is that people will spend most of the time boating and snorkeling and surfing the internet. They have solar panels and have internet and stuff. So it should be a fun little place to hang out. It's a little animation. There's a boat that's heading out to the seastead that we're going to go look at. 
There's actually another one in the background. Um, so, steps going up one of the legs. Um, one of those will be headed towards the wind and the others will be downwind. Um, again, it might not be round buoys, it might be sort of like little spars with something to dampen out the motion. But with two foot waves, and this is sort of 90 foot diagonal, um, it doesn't move too badly, I'm sure. The, the test model was like six foot waves, you know, six inch waves is like six foot, and in real life it'd be more like two foot, um, and this would be heavier than, the model wasn't really as heavy as it should have been. We might not need a crane really because the one side, if the boat was tied up on one leg and that was a downwind leg, it would always be downwind even if the wind shifted. So you could let it drift away from the structure. There you go. Thank you very much.